love Mike's videos, please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to create YouTube thumbnails quickly and easily with LumaFusion. Here's the new thumbnail design for my InShot video series. The thumbnail looks professional, looks clean, and nothing is obstructed. I'll start by opening a new project. LumaFusion is a paid app, so for a one-time fee of $20, you can not only make great videos, but great thumbnails as well. Once you name the project and make sure that the project aspect is set to 16 by nine landscape, tap the icon in the upper right hand corner to create an empty project. You should see a new blank project with nothing in it. I'll use this photo of an old tabletop. Just tap it once to bring it into the preview window. Once you've looked at it, tap on it in the preview window and drag it down into the main timeline. Make sure the photo sits in the purple video track. This is the main video track and everything else in this thumbnail will appear on top of this image. Next, I need to find a photo of my iPhone frame. Here it is. I'll bring it down into the main timeline. Long press and drag it down. Place it on top of the first clip. It's way too big. Next, I'll select the clip and tap the clip editor icon. Then I'll tap on size and position and pinch and zoom to shrink the clip down to a more appropriate size. When this is done, tap the back arrow in the upper left corner to go back to the project. I'll select the iPhone frame in the timeline and then tap the clip editor once more so I can move it into position on the right hand side. I'll tap on size and position and then just drag it over and I'll make it a little bigger so that it fills the area properly. When I'm done, I'll tap the back arrow in the upper left corner to go back to the project. To save time, I've added another photo inside the iPhone frame by placing it on top of the iPhone frame layer and resizing it to fit. Next, we're going to select our text and graphics. Tap the icon in the upper left hand corner and select titles from the dropdown. These are presets inside LumaFusion that are meant to be video titles, but they can be used for thumbnail text and graphics. Tap a thumbnail design to select it. Once you've chosen the one you like, drag it from the preview window and make it the topmost layer in the stack. The text and graphics will appear over top of the other layers. This is handy because I'm not a graphic designer. Select the clip at the top of the stack and open the clip editor. This will allow you to edit the text and graphics. The first thing I like to do is change the color of the circles. This is an iOS 13 tutorial, so I'm going to use the colors from the iOS 13 logo and match them as closely as I can. On the right hand side, select a shape, tap on face color, and adjust the color, brightness, and saturation as shown. Tap anywhere on the screen to dismiss the color wheel once you've got the color adjusted the way you want. Next, I'm going to select the next shape and repeat the process that I just did. And I'll try adjusting the brightness and saturation of this color to make it look more like the purple in the iOS 13 logo. I think it's a little darker than that, so I'm gonna bring the brightness down. That's what the colors will look like as of right now. You can double tap any clip to open the clip editor. That purple does not look quite right, so I'm gonna change it. Again, I'll tap on face color and make the adjustments I need. Then I'll tap anywhere to dismiss the color wheel. Now I'll adjust the properties for the orange circle. I'll tap the arrow on the last shape tap face color and make the adjustments that I need. I can adjust the color, brightness, and saturation. When I'm done, I'll tap anywhere to dismiss the color wheel. And I'll tap the arrow to the left of this shape to close the shape properties. That color looks a lot better. Finally, I'm going to reposition and add the text. Tap the arrow to the left 
of the shape that says your text here. This is the main text box. The first thing I'm going to do is change the font. When you're choosing a font for thumbnails, it's best to choose a bold font that has thick letters so that it's easy to read at the smaller size. I'm going to choose Avenir Next Condensed Bold. Tap a font to choose it. Long press and drag the text box to where you want it. Double tap on the selected text to bring up the on-screen keyboard so you can change it and add your own text. When the keyboard appears, hit the backspace key and type the text that you want to put on the thumbnail. I need to adjust the text so it fits better. Tap done to dismiss the keyboard. That looks better. Next, I need to make the text a little bigger so it can be read easily at the smaller size. That looks big enough. Either pinch and zoom or use the size slider provided on the right. And make the adjustments you need. Since I'm going to be using a short phrase, I'll select from one of the preset styles on the right hand side. Just tap any style to select it. And then tap the font property to change it. Try to use the same font. Have an ear next condensed bold tap your font to choose it double tap the selected text to bring up the keyboard so that you can change it hit the backspace key and type the words how to tap done to dismiss the keyboard long press on the text box to resize it as shown to move it into position drag it up to the top left corner you can pinch and zoom to resize it or use the slider provided in the properties on the right. That looks big enough. I'm not sure if I like that style, so I'll choose another one and take a look at it. Just tap any style to choose it. I don't really like the red, so I'm going to try again. That looks better. Tap the arrow in the upper left hand corner to close the clip editor. There's the completed thumbnail, and it looks pretty good. To save this thumbnail, tap the share icon in the bottom corner of the screen, and tap on Snapshot. This will save a picture. This is the thumbnail that you can upload to YouTube, or any other social media platform. To see how to upload a thumbnail to YouTube from your iPad or other tablet, check out the YouTube card on screen now. To see the snapshot you saved, Tap on all photos and videos. It's in the upper left hand corner. If you have a problem or this does not work for you, leave a comment below so I can help you. Thanks so much for watching.